Ever wondered why the lion and not any other animal is called the king of the jungle? This title speaks volumes about their symbolic representation of strength, courage, and power, although lions typically roam the savanna and grasslands, not jungles. So the title King of the Jungle is more about the lion's regal presence and fearlessness. Did you know a group of lions is called a pride? But why is it called so? In the wild, lions live in close-knit groups called prides. These typically encompass up to three males, a dozen females, and their young. So, the lion's pride is not just about arrogance, it's their family, their protection, and their strength. Have you ever heard a lion's roar and wondered how far it can reach? A lion's roar is a powerful sound, echoing up to five miles away. It serves as a form of communication, marking their territory, and calling stray pride members home. So, a lion's roar is not just about intimidation, it's their way of communicating. Ever wondered what's on the menu for the king of the jungle? Lions mainly feast on large ungulates like wildebeest, zebras, and buffaloes. But don't be fooled, despite being apex predators, they're also scavengers, often swiping meals from hyenas and wild dogs. So the lion, the king of the jungle, is not just a hunter but also a scavenger. Now, aren't these facts about the lion intriguing? We've journeyed through the lion's regal status as the king of the jungle, discovered the intricate social structure of prides, listened to the thunderous power of a lion's roar, and explored the lion's diverse diet. It's been a thrilling safari into the world of lions, so the next time you hear a lion's roar or see a pride, remember these fascinating facts about the king of the jungle.